Hey everybody, this is my reaction to the finale of Devs. Uh, a quick disclaimer, if you are looking for a full recap or a description of exactly what happens, this is not the place to go. I would definitely advise, uh, advise anyone who's interested to go check out the entire series. It is well worth your time, I believe. Uh, I would highly rate it either four and a half to a five in my in my opinion. Now, what I want to really talk about is, is the finale, the final outcome of Devs, a happy or sad ending? I do genuinely believe you could have either reaction to it. Um, so I'm going to kind of give you my take on it, but I would love to hear what other people think as well. So I'm going to assume that anyone who's going further with this video has at least watched the finale and has a basic understanding of it. Um, quickly, I would mention, I went into it, and you can see my previous video where I kind of predicted things. I actually got quite a bit of it close, or similar to what actually happened. Um, one of the things I thought was going to be the main point of the finale episode was going to be, is there the ability to make free choice? Is it a deterministic universe? Now. I think that question gets answered pretty quickly um, when Lily throws the gun. We are definitely able to see that she was able to make a choice that went outside of the version of uh, reality that she had been shown by devs. Now, the interesting thing was it didn't really change things that much. To me, it's kind of like this. I thought of it as a train track with a switch. Um, she has the free choice to switch the switch and go onto one of the other tracks, but she's still on a track. She doesn't have the choice to get off the tracks entirely, uh, if that makes sense. So it's like determinism with the multi-world. You can make some choices, but you're still in some kind of a deterministic tram line or track line, which tram lines were kind of a thing they used throughout the, ep the, throughout the series to kind of describe uh, this idea of a deterministic uh, view of reality. So that being said, what ended up actually happening, was it a happy ending or a sad ending? Now it's presented as a happy ending. It's presented as, um, you know, Forrest gets the most heaven-like or the most awesome version of his simulation when he gets sucked into that. Um, and in a sense, he brings Lily along and lets her have hers as well. Uh, of course, the implication, and they do show little flashes of it, are that there are other much less happy simulations going on in other multiple timelines, uh, which is kind of disturbing in itself. But let's just take the one that we are shown the most of and say that is supposed to be the heaven version, kind of. That's supposed to be the happiest version. And I kind of would contend that it is not happy. And this is why. Um... I think in the whole series, what you're kind of being shown is that happiness in a way is based on ignorance of the deterministic world. So everyone we see throughout the first seven episodes who knows about the possibility of what their future is seems almost robotic. They seem, you know, resigned. They seem depressed. I mean, you got Forrest and Katie both who have been watching over and over and over again this finale that ends in, in uh, the static. And they both seem almost like zombies, like resigned at the best. Um, so, we also see how that affects Lily in the final episode. She's kind of becoming like one of them because she sees her own, you know, future and her own destiny and that kind of messes her up as well. So the question is, they get dropped into this better version they kind of get lucky you know and, and lucky in the sense right they they die but their their whole essence up to that point is you know loaded into the simulations and then they are allowed to be in that one awesome simulation where amaya and his wife is still alive devs doesn't exist um she gets to go back to jamie and actually understand what he had given to her and know that he was always the best choice and she's able to actually take that and accept that in the right way. Okay, all sounds great, right? Oh, I will drop in a little thing here. Some people are mentioning things like, well, 
why is his daughter not any older? And why is there still a statue? Why does Dev still exist? I think of the simulations as almost like video games. So they're not going to be perfectly different versions of what would have happened. They're kind of this weird amalgamation of what is known and what isn't known and a new version of the timeline. So it, it's all kind of messed up but kind of what happened before. So I think that those weird inconsistencies kind of can work because we have just, you know, infinite different versions of those, re of those simulations going on, just like multiple timelines in reality. Okay, so getting back to whether it's good or bad. Here's the reason I think it's bad for them, and that is they have knowledge. So all the characters in those simulations, characters, all the people, the you know, entities in those simulations that don't know that they're in a simulation are in various degrees of happiness or unhappiness or whatever, but they all have that illusion of free will. So they are all able to live in a universe where they have free will, as far as they know. The difference is Lily and Forrest have the knowledge of their previous existence. They know that they're in a simulation. And I think that is the ultimate curse. So as happy as Forrest is in those moments that we see him, I mean, he's kind of just been there. He hasn't been there very long from the way we're seeing it. I wonder if you fast forward how happy he is because he always hated the idea that he was getting just a version of Amaya, but he essentially is only getting a version of Amaya. So if you look at it that way, um, they're both basically in a giant sandbox video game and everybody else is non-player characters, NPCs. The, the only, and they are NPCs because they know, they have knowledge of their own place in that existence. And that's what makes Lily and Forrest basically kind of cursed. They can make the best of it, but I think they'll always feel haunted by what they know. And I think that is the ultimate kind of takeaway of this show. It seems like a happy ending, but I don't think it really is. And one of the questions I asked, and I would love to hear anyone's comments, if you think it's happy, why do you think it's happy? If you don't, do you agree with me? Or do you think something different? And one thing I really would like to know is, will Forrest at some point in that timeline ask to have the simulation shut off? Like, would they have been better if they had just been allowed to die in the timeline that we saw and they're the versions of them that had been saved as kind of a, basically like a computer simulation, had never been loaded into devs? Will they ask to be turned off? I would think that most people probably would. So, like to hear your comments. See what you think. Talk to you soon.